and yeah, <laughs> so I can wreck everybody. Oh, uh, that'll be the day. I, I don't wanna, even know if they have that. I want someone to come over here with a with a single Joy-Con. A single Joy-Con? Uh, I actually saw that at Fire Nice. Uh, they was, it, was it lefty or righty? You know? I don't know. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter at the end of the day. Yeah. But that's that's crazy. Yeah, they were playing Lucina. Okay. Yeah, I forget their name, but they were a, they were a trooper. Single Joy-Con. All right, cool joy Tyro, unpaid, Fox, Pikachu, Staples in the Smash franchise. Let's see how they play. He uh, spelled his name as Unpiad, so I don't, I don't really know what to say about that. Other than that, um, not paid for spelling. Yeah, <laughs> he's definitely not paid for that. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, but this is a really fun matchup. Uh, classic 64 too, and uh, you know. Fox being a fastballer and being basically juggle food is going to really suck for him against Pikachu. Uh, but that's just like surface level stuff. I mean, Fox can kill Pikachu like 80 or 70 with uh, up smash. From what we've seen so far, it seems like Taro's going to have the advantage in neutral more often than not. He just seems to be the only one that's like fastballing consistently. As I say that, we just see him paid doing it a couple times. But he's not really committing to the short hops and just kind of like poking. Mm -hmm. And Taro, he's more like, I'm actually trying to hit you in the face. I'm not trying to feel things out at all. Oh, if yeah. Taro's able to respond to that, Fox is one of the best characters to Ooh. kind of counteract uh, aggressive neutral play. See if he's able to pull it off. I really like that down tilt to put him into that edge guarding situation. That was really smart from uh, Unpaid. Oh, okay. Whip from the forward air. Yeah, he's going to get the dash attack for that. Oh, yeah. he got to get out of there. It could have been worse. 97% rack up so far. Tyron makes her way back to the stage. And ooh, yeah. that down arrow almost got a little cheeky there. Oh, the parry. parry, by the way. Goodbye to your stop. Oh, my God. That was so clean. That was so clean. Okay, we're going to get a little extra credit here. We combo these. Wow. Sifi is going to get counteracted. Okay, trying to get back to business. That's a nice shield. Go for the grab. I need to, to lay the lightning on you. I need That's to look into Fox's side B, because that move just did some really weird interaction with the Skull Bash. I mean, it looked really like face value, like, oh, they clashed, but it didn't do that before, I don't think. I think it just lost in, in four. It's a good shine. Tyro back on the offensive, successfully edge guarding their way to 78% racked up on unpaid second stock. Oh, uh, B gets Fox back on stage. The oh, Jabate is real. The Jabate. <laughs> Oh, okay. That could have been a press up smash. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. I mean, it's time to use Pika's small body to your advantage. Okay, it is able to take stocks after all. He's going to have to really uh, get on the offensive and this back up. Ooh. Looks like he heard me. 30% racked up so far. There's the shield. Miss Dash Tech goes back to the remix. Taro trying to get on the offensive themselves. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mara, it's starting to even up a little bit in the neutral. A little bit, a little bit. I think it, uh, it all boils down to how Unpaid decides to um, take care of Fox when he's off stage. Like, can he ledge trap and can he edge guard? Ooh, damn. Ooh. Dash attack, looking real nice. I think if Unpaid starts connecting more of these combos together, if he starts getting these, un these down Bs that he's looking for to connect, Tyro's going to be having a pretty short shelf life with some of these stocks. Nice shield there from Unpaid to dodge out. Dash attack, 132% racked up. I think uh, Pikachu's up smash is actually really strong. I think he could be using that a bit more whenever Fox uh, is, you know, in recovery frames or at a, you know, disadvantage. Ooh, not quite. Not quite. Oh, he wants that forward smash so bad. I think if Unpaid was a bit more patient, he could have super punished that side beat from Tyro to back the stage. I agree. I agree. But side B, ooh. Tyro's like, you know, I'll just punish myself. To air is to be human, I suppose. Oh, yeah. 76% already on the last stop for Unpaid. Taro looking for that quick up smash. Looking for parries, getting some combinations of value off of that. There's a nice grab. Unpaid's trying to rack it up. Okay, ooh, I, I can see what he was going for with the, the up tilt. Almost connecting, but not quite. Oh, that might have been a forward smash from Fox. Oh, but we're getting spikes. I've been looking for that. The down aerial from Unpaid, I think that's going to bring a lot to the table to deal with Taro's Fox's offense. 110% racked up, though, it may already be too late for the Pikachu. Goes off to the side, gets onto the ledge. Oh, oh yeah. Man. Size 11 and a half. Oh, yeah. Wow. How did you know that the size <laughs> so, so accurately? Yeah, uh, I don't know what as accurately as Unpaid does, because he's just got an up close and personal look at that back air. Mm -mm. Yeah, one. that back air was not really present so much in that match, and he just threw it out at the right time. There was a lot of trading, I saw. Um, yeah. Unpaid, like, instead of landing safely, he, he's kind of a risk taker, that Unpaid. 
I, I can admire that. I can admire that. You know, landing with forward air and whatnot. Um, he, nah, I don't want to say he's, he might be used to Smash 4 Pikachu. I saw a lot of up tilts that didn't connect. Uh, let's see if he can adjust that. It seems like both players could stand to, to have quicker muscle memory instincts on offstage play. Mm. Especially like yeah. on Kate on that last box. You, it, you could see him actively make the decision to go offstage. Yep. And that delay allowed Tyra to get back on stage with the easiest for Smash of his life. So I do think if they're going to try to go through that kind of play again, either be more conservative about it, just let him get back on the stage or get commit more towards edge guarding, or if you aren't going to go, just jump off right away. Right? Mm, definitely. Yeah, it's either one or the other. It's either edge guard or just ledge trap on. Ledge trapping is very hard to do. Right? I can't wait to finally learn how to do it. <laughs> nice down air connected to the tarot. 99% racked up, 73 on the side. up. That was a forward smash. Almost gets the first stock. Up he gets back into the stage for free. Oh. again. I, Slower on the draw with the edge guarding off stage. I love that instant dash attack. That worked out so well for Tara. Oh, doing it again. Yeah, he gets a lot of mileage off that dash attack, whatever it does connect. And I'm pretty sure it can uh, go past shield. Dash attack neutral is definitely starting to connect. Up oh, That was a pixel or two away from being an SD. And they said magnets were gone. Okay, whatever you say. Up throw, not going to be able to convert it to the first box. Shine slows down. Tyro to sit back to the stage. B starting to poke at Fox forces out to shine. Smash <laughs> <connects>. <laughs> Yo, those, <laughs> look at that back and forth looking so good. Okay, yeah, recovering high. Oh, not not the uh, punishing right though. That's another instance where Unpaid just jumps off the stage a hair late. They are able to come away with that stock. They're only down 47%. Mm -hmm. Still an even game in the grand scheme of things. Let's see if he's able to get some of those neutral air, down air combinations and start to pull off in the end of last game. Oh, yeah. Oh. I got a side B, too. Oh. Okay, okay, we're recovering just in time. Okay. Uh, but Pikachu is definitely a kill percent. I mean, one up smash is probably all it takes. Doesn't get the sweet spot on the forward smash, but the damage is done. Tower looking for the aerial no. attack and fresh and I to connect that. There's a block dash attack. A completely whip forward smash offers Tower the opportunity to rack some damage up. Kill percentage. Oh, there's that back there. Oh, okay. I mean, he let snap, but you know. Oh, there, yeah. Next, there's the forward smash. Not really getting the best spacing on that. I think there's a, a much safer way to go for those forward smashes on Cave. He's just going point blank. Yeah. He's getting way in the range of five, so use that as more of a zoning thing. Next thing to there, since 158% can shoot off stage Ooh, for a bit. Yeah. Oh, no. Taro really likes to go off stage. Like, he will just press as soon as he gets the opportunity to do so. Both of these players seem to have no no hesitation to jump off stage. They're just not really netting the things that they're looking for at. So I think once that piece is together, it'll be a much more lethal game, probably a shorter game. But uh, it's got some stacks right now. Oh, yeah, definitely. And Fox has no kill throws, so if he wants to go off stage, you might as well just throw him off stage. For the up air, look for the back air that just misses. There's a shield and some damage. Nice forward air connects. This will be forward smash again. So close. Mm. Not able to get to that sweet spot. Oh, getting grabbed up too. Up smash? Okay. Forward air. It's a uh, tarot back over the stage. Goes for the forward smash in the wrong direction. Forward so connects. Sends Pikachu off stage. Up B gets the shock right back on them. Oh, man. Taro's. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, Unpaid definitely uh, changed something up there. Tree of Fox and a rechargeable battery. Yeah, I mean, there, there, there were the SDs uh, from Fox in uh, both games. Yeah. Uh, I think it was just a matter of like how he kept going off stage. And, uh, there's not really much else to say past that. I mean, the the way that he would recover to, he would always do side B and whatnot. Uh, I mean, what else is there really to do? Yeah, let's just go into game three. I mean, going into game three, I really want to see both of these players not be so ham off the stage. Mm. Um, it's caused Tyro a few stocks now over the course of the set. Mm. Um, Unpaid's definitely been on the wrong end of things, trying to go off stage. And I want to see Unpaid try to get more value out of this space and afford it off the forward smash. He's doing it like right in Fox's face without getting to the sweet spot. Definitely. He'd be able to get these stocks at like 80%, 80% but instead of 130 Good forward there. You got every single bit of that. Okay, whiffing the dash attack. 
Shoot dash attack and assist. Goes to the forward. So also up he back onto the stage. Offers Tyro the opportunity to get on the offensive. Doesn't connect too much with it though, but trying to hold on to the center board from the stage. And I'm seeing some missed out of shield opportunities as well. Um, like full hops instead of short hop there from either character. Oh, speaking of short hop there. Oh, okay, here's, down, so. here's the forward smash that does connect. 89%, pretty much an even game. Up B, not going to get punished. That was... B on the that. proverbial bone. Not going to get enjoyed by the Yeah. Yeah, I think it... it, it just just kind of calm down on the buttons just a little bit and just watch what your opponent is doing. Because that was... He basically screamed, hey, you can kill me now. Yeah, I feel like both of these players would benefit from a measure of patience. Yes. Um, I think Taro's offensiveness is actually what's allowed him to rack up a lot of this damage. I agree. Um, if he was just a bit more hesitant, he's just going in and like, I'm throwing a, da a dash attack at you at every possible turn. If it connects, great. If it doesn't, oh, maybe I'll just go to the neutral there. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Bye, Fox. Oh boy. Oh, Ooh. God. <laughs> that was murder. <laughs> Evaporates off the stage like, ow. That looked like it hurt. 24% racked up. 41 Megan. Okay, Cade's really starting to combo next to these aerials. And get jabbed, by the way. Absolutely. Woo, that's a good stuff. Wow, that was... Attack up so not too bad. Tarot starting to feel himself. Mm -hmm. It's forward. Forward so. Up these back on the stage. Charges up the forward smash. That was ambitious. Okay. Safely landing. Lots of uh, forward smashes from MK. Uh, ooh, that one connected. Ooh. Ooh, ooh yeah, he didn't snap like he wanted go. to. That was one of the first times we saw Unpaid hesitate for using his smash, and he was rewarded by it. He was right there at the perfect spot to punish that up B. That was just the... Uh, Generous return to the stage for Tyro. Just bounce up B and float down. It'll be fine. It's the worst thing gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Ooh. Okay. Whipping the back air, but it looked like an honest attempt. On base, starting to whip off. You see it right here. Blocks the dash <laughs> attack. Goes for the grab. You like that? <laughs> no subtlety. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're seeing him shield more of these dash attacks, and he needs to win for the grab right away, so I do think he's starting to read his opponent. Ooh. It may be a bit too late, though. He does have a 54% advantage. Here last now. game, last stop. We see it so often here at Mega Smash. Oh, yeah, I, I love coming here. Oh, the down air. Oh. Smash, that's going to be Dash attack connects. Neutral air as a response. 77% racked up. Forward tilt's going to connect. Unpaid was so tired of getting hit by Dash attack. I'm just going to nair right now and just stop you before you can even get anything out of it. Look at these kicks. 41% charged up. Side B's going to airball. Dash attack. Neutral. Ooh. Forward smash. Taro starting to piece them together. Oh, he'll be okay. He's fine. Okay, down air. No grab. Okay. Forward tilt and the dash attack. Nice shield down air from the okay. Next 99%. One forward smash. He's going to decide this set. Shine's going to miss. Mm -hmm. There's the shield. Runs in. Tyro looking for an opportunity. Not able to get it just yet. Actually, I think he used that uh, shine so he could uh, stall his. Ooh. Yeah.